there's the crank handle and it lowers and raises your head here to adjust it for your cut that is the motor Hey guys, it's Wiley. You guys seen me working with the sawmill trailer the other day, cutting up some logs. I'm gonna do a little bit of an upgrade here to help me out. That really big log wore my arms out, you know, with that crank to raise the head and lower the head, adjust everything. Maybe I'm getting fat, maybe I'm getting lazy, I don't know, but it, it that's, that's a pretty good workout. So I've already got it all tore apart but I'm gonna to try to show you here what I got going on. There's the crank handle. So crank this and it lowers and raises your head here to adjust it for your cut on your log. That is the motor that goes on to the jack to level a travel trailer. All right, I'm gonna give you guys a close up. It's a 12 volt, is it Norco? 21 to 1 ratio so that ought to be a pretty stout little jack or a little motor type mc 102 c the way this motor is rigged is it's got this female hole here that is octagon shaped i guess you'd call it uh hexagon maybe then it's got a male side over here this hook to the jack and then if the motor ever went bad then you have you have a handle that hooks up here and you can still crank your jack up and down the motor's good it works just fine um i've hooked it up checked it all out everything works good on it and i am going to rig this up to where all i've got to do is push a button to adjust my saw blade to raise and lower my head which they call a power head so i'm going to make a power head out of my manual head this is what i got going on right now so three quarter inch head that's that's the nut for a i think maybe a 7 16 i can't remember but anyway three quarter inch wrench is what fits that i had to hone the inside out a little bit and then i drilled a hole through the middle of it because this has a hole in it too so this is going to slide right on pin on see if i can do this holding the camera Perfect. Now, this motor, a little tough, guys, holding the camera too. Let's see if I can find a place to set this camera. This stuff's a whole lot easier when Jen's here operating the camera. Now, that is there. Now I need to build a bracket to come off of this bolt over and up to weld to this bracket to hold it in place. Shouldn't be no big deal. So I've got an old piece of metal here. More junk I had laying around, guys. Um, this is the way it works around my place. I'm gonna put it up here. I'm gonna make a few marks. I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting on this metal and try to build me a, a bracket. All right, that gave me the design I want. Now I'm gonna get to cutting. Oh, might help if I plug my, helps when you actually have electricity, guys. Well, there it is. I think that's gonna work out pretty well. Get a couple holes drilled in it right there. Get it welded on up here. Get it bolted on and I think we're gonna be golden right there. Looks pretty darn good to me. I'll give this piece a quick little bend. 
That way, once I get it on the bolts, it's gonna to touch right there. That's almost perfect. Now, if I can find me a drill bit, the right size, I gotta drill some holes, get it mounted, get it welded, and we should be good to go. So the biggest drill bit I have in my kit ain't quite big enough to make that big enough for them bolts. So I'm gonna have to use my D-Burr, Reamer, whatever you wanna call it, and make them holes a little bit bigger. There it is, y'all. There's where it's gonna bolt onto the frame and comes out it comes up it'll weld to this metal bracket right here i do believe that's going to work out pretty darn good now i'm going to get it bolted up it's still really hot so i'm trying to keep from burning myself here that should work That, guys, is going to save my arm. I think it's going to work. Although I'm having issues with the battery that's on there after it sets for a couple days, it goes dead, so I think I've got a bad battery. I'm going to wind up having to get a better battery for it. It does charge up while it's running and will stay charged for a while, but I'm probably going to have to get another battery uh, to get this to where it's going to stay up good while, while I'm working it. That is going to work out great. This motor connects to, you know, where the crank used to be on this thing. It's also got this on this end to where if the motor's not working, you can put a three quarter inch socket right there and crank this end. So you can still do it manually. So I'm going to take and fix the, uh, the handle that came off here and I'm going to weld a socket on it where it'll fit this that way I can keep it with me in case I do have issues whether it be the battery going dead whether it be wiring issues whether it be the motor going bad you know whatever I can still crank it up and down uh, the same way I did before but this is going to be a lot better less strenuous I guess but that's pretty awesome check it out guys I mean That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty happy with that. I can't wait to get to use it now. So another project done on the sawmill. Thank you guys for watching. Y'all don't forget, if you like this kind of content, we'll put a video up here and a playlist down here. Like, subscribe, leave me a comment, and don't forget, work hard, stay humble, and love God.